What's up everyone, Steve again from RCTNT. Check out this, this is the uh, crane setup for the HG P801 and P802 cars. Now it can lift about 1.2 kilo I believe. It's all metal, it's pretty damn sweet, has a, a lot of movement on the controls. You actually hook it up to your existing controller which is this guy here and it has you know everything that you need. It's got left, right, left, right, left, right, up, down, it's got a little winch here as well. It's actually steel braided cable. As you can see, it's moving that motor up and moving it down as well. And also, this boom extends in and out as well. So, pretty damn cool. But anyway, let's have a look, see what we get, and uh, let's install it. Okay, here is a box for the HG P803. Now, I have the HG P801, which is the one with the tip bed on the back. Now, you obviously have to take that off, which I have. But if you have the HG P802, I believe, it would be much easier. So, here's the whole better to take off, it's got you know nice electric rams and or pneumatic like electric rams, all this kind of cool stuff it's aluminium, all that. it's pretty cool but you know I don't use it as much and I'd rather this thing here because I want this on the on the back of my one and also I want to get this little uh, conversion kit which I need to get I'm still waiting for that so I can tow that huge trailer that I have if you would have saw the build video for that if you haven't please go check it out, I'll leave the link up there and uh, all the links for all this stuff is will be down in the description for the um, the actual truck, this, and uh, the trailer itself. Pretty cool, but anyway, let's not get too carried away. Simple unboxing. Now, HG stuff are really, really good quality. You know, a lot of it is all metal, and it's not plastic, and you know, yes, they are a little bit expensive, but you're getting a lot of metal for that, a lot of bang for buck, in my opinion, and uh, a lot of people are really liking them in the hobby. So, let's have a quick look. Here's a quick box here. Gives you some um, actual you know, dimensions and specs about it. It can lift 1.2 kilos. Now you get a, a quick little instruction manual in here tells you how to set it up. Now it's very easy. It's a few screws here and there to put the deck together. I'll show you that little step by step in a little bit, not too carried away. Now basically it just goes on the back there and the biggest issue I see is trying to fit all the wires and stuff back into these little like imitation fuel canisters on the side because it's pretty hard. Now what it does, when you hook it up, you basically hook hook the power up to the power, there's a, uh, on the receiver there's an extra power plug on the receiver and you just hook it up and you get your controller, this one here, and all the driving is on this side of the, you know, forward, back or left and right. When you plug it in, you use these here, these switches here, and this one to rotate the actual boom on the uh, crane. I told you here exactly what it's all for. So, you can lift up to 1.2 kilos. So, okay, let's have a look at what's involved. Full metal deck there, that's going to go on the back and the crane's going to sit on top of there, but that's fairly thick gauge uh, metal. It's got that nice little plating or the diamond pattern in there, I'm not too sure what you want to call it. Let's look what you get in the box, I believe it's upside down, but that's cool. This part is plastic, but it's, uh, I think it's not lifting anything, it just serves as a, you know, a decorative piece. That's like, uh, it's got all the, well, that's got even a little... Can you open it? Oh yeah, so you've got a little handle, we have to push that in. Look at that. Even here as well. See what I mean by the quality of this stuff? You know, it's pretty nice. Basic, uh, well, I guess that's where the, all the uh, batteries or the motor and stuff like that would sit on the real one, like the generator stuff, but that's obviously going to sit somewhere around there. It does have a nice little uh, metal grill on the side, but pretty cool. Basic screws you need, uh, hardware, you know, four-way wrench, Allen keys, that kind of cool stuff. And here is a crane that we want to see. Now it's heavy. It does weigh. Now, all this is uh, metal, obviously. Base here is plastic, this outer base, but everything else seems metal. Even this the wire. It's an actual steel braided cable. Pretty damn cool. So you get two on the side here. What are they? Electric, what could you call them? Not pneumatic, but rams, we'll just call them electric rams, one there to, to I think lift it this way and another one at the bottom here to lift it up a little motor here for the winch this one here for the winch must be geared just down there you also got the motors there to drive those I guess pistons you could call them and that's here you also have another one to rotate the base pretty damn cool so it extends as you see on the box it extends just there 245 millimeters. Well, wow, that's pretty cool. And the whole thing 
once it's all extended, is 481 meters, millimeters. Sorry, so half half a meter. That's pretty cool. Has a 55 degree lift angle there, and lifting height of 460 mil. When the winch rope retracts and releases, is 500 mil. So pretty cool. So I think we'll just get it all on the back of the car. One more thing. There we go. Oh, these are the sides that will attach this main plate like that. It's been here for the first time as well, guys. So I'm assuming it's going to go on the side top thing. It's not like that, but you get the idea. It's underneath, I believe. Something like that. And it's going to sit onto the actual chassis of the car. So I'll move all this stuff out of the way. We'll get the car and we'll just do a quick little build. Alright, so first up, put the brackets on the actual base here. Simple. It's going to, it tells you to use six screws. They are three by eight millimeter screws. They are all uh, hex head. Pretty cool. And I'm using the uh, HG toolkit that you normally get when you buy the car and all that kind of stuff. But that is there. It does come with all the tools really that you need. Just tighten these all up. So you're going to have two more in the middle. And at least they're pretty, the instructions for these are pretty good. Um, you know, when I actually built the trailer, that was pretty damn good as well. I had no issues with that. The only issues I had was with the actual um, electronics. I couldn't get the LEDs, all the LEDs to work on the trailer. But uh, mechanically wise, no issues with them because, you know, all the gears and stuff inside the transmission, they're all metal. No issues whatsoever. And uh, a lot of other guys on the net seem to have the same, you know, they share the same sediments from as well. Have you got this? Anyone in the uh, watching this have this actual kit? Can you uh, let me know of any issues that you've come across or anything like that? I'll be interested to know. So that's pretty much step one. Step two, it tells us to get, this is called the control room. Um, what it says on the actual manual. Flip it up like that. I'm going to use four three by eight millimeter screws, but going into plastic. So you can always tell which ones are going into plastic. They have that uh, focusing that coarser thread compared to a fine, th uh, fine thread that's going into steel. But there we go, so just flip it up like that. That goes on the side, and we'll lock and load it into those four screw holes. Simple as that. Okay, so when you do that, that's what you end up with. Really easy. Next up, step three, we're going to feed this servo cable or the power cable, whatever you want to call it, through the base, just like that. And then we're going to attach this main lifting arm. Now you you notice how can it sit flat when these screws are protruding, you know, sticking out there? Well, on the base here, see those two cutouts, those two holes, they line up with those two screws. So when you screw it down, it uh, sits flush. It's going to line it up just like that. There we go. Pretty sweet. So that's pretty cool thinking. I was thinking, well, that's not really smart, but it has cutouts in there ready to go, and you just lock them away with four. Uh, Eight more screws as well. I'll just do that. It's a bit hard holding it uh, and looking at the camera at the same time. Okay, now that's what you end up with. Pretty heavy little unit, that's for sure. But it's very easy. You've got these four screws on either side, so eight in total. And they will fit down into these pre-existing holes in the chassis. There's two there. There's two there. One's already got a screw in there, so you've got to take that out. And there's also, obviously, the same on this side. This particular side, you have to take out this, um, this like winch. It's got this real rope. So you can access those screws. Once you have done that, you can put that back on. It just tells you here in the instructions, just like I was saying. So it's got to take out this, you know, that little piece here, put it all back on. So once that's on there, that's basically all it is. Really easy. Put those uh, eight, there's eight screws in. And then on this side of the actual truck, it's going to be really heavy now when you put all this together. Here is your receiver that you get with the car the truck you want to call it, it's actually 8 channel. Now there's a spare power one just at the back, that's where you're going to plug in that power one from the uh, from this lifting arm and put it in there. So what I'm going to do, it's a bit fiddly on camera, I'll lock all this down, 8 screws in, plug this in then I can show you how it actually works. But it looks cool, I imagine when the trailer's on there, that looks sick. Okay, weird one, when I was installing this, you can tell that these brackets, they have two different sizes, they're like Three to three to four millimeters at the the ones at the back, but the front ones are just enough for the two millimeter ones, which you know it's fine. But the thing is, you only get four of these, which they say you need eight of, but that's not going to make sense because the thread 
is uh, too small. So it's at the two back ones here on either side. That's perfect. That's the thread you need. It's, I think it's two by six millimeters. So that threads in there nicely. But the ones at the front, we had the existing screws. We had to go take it out, which are just there. Are like three by eights. So you need this size. Kind of strange, which is perfect because the ones from the factory at the back fit these nicely. But the ones at the front are like for the two millimeter ones, as you can see. So simple fix. I just uh, drilled these ones out to match these ones as well, and that's it. And they have enough screws eventually because you take out two, and they included two more of these, and uh, four of the two mm two by six millimeter ones. So it's quite enough. The instruction manual might be wrong. Anyway, simple fix. Screw those out, and then we should be good to go. I'm just scratching my head for a minute. All right, as you can see, it is nice and installed. Screws are tight. Everything looks good. I've tested it. Make sure everything works, which it does. But uh, this thing is not a speed demon. The rotation is, um, you can see, if I turn, all the controls are on this side of the stick. The controls for the car are still on here. That's the steering. But all the controls for the crane are on here. So left and right, you can see, it turns out. And that does spin 360 degrees. So that does spin fairly quickly as you can see. Now, if you push up or down, it'll raise. There's a main boom at the back. You can see it starts to raise. Push it down, it goes down, which lifts it. Push it up, which will lower this down, as you can see. It's lowering very slowly. I'll zoom in later on for you to show you how, the, uh, how it actually looks, but as you can see, it's lowering pretty quickly. And one thing to note, if you spin this around, when this is too down, it's going to hit these top of these boxes. So, you know, it's got to make sure, just uh, bear that in mind. This switch up here utilizes these, these two, well, I'll call them pneumatics or just rams or whatever you want to call them, just for the video. Uses these two, as you can see. That one raises, that one's not too bad, but it's definitely not super quick. I guess it might be scale, um, if you want to call that. As you can see, pretty cool. So that's this switch just here. Now we have one here. This one is pretty slow. You can hardly see it move. But what this one is doing, it is retracting, putting this actual beam in. Do it the other way, it'll slowly it'll slowly bring it out. It's pretty hard to see, but it is doing it. If I uh slowly but surely it will bring that out. So that one's not that big of a deal so to stop it you just it's a three position switch in the middle turns it off you know you get the idea last but not least this guy here it lowers the actual like crane itself the hook push down push up it goes up here you can go i'm just holding it you can see the truck moving with the weight i'm just holding it there apparently you can do 1.2 kilos so and I'm pulling down and that's more than 1.2 kilos of force right now I can guarantee that and it's it's got no issue you just hear it there struggling a little bit but that is real uh, braided cable or steel cable as you can see just if I can actually get some focus there we go so it's just going to bunch up a bit if there's no weight on it now I'll move this guy around here These, these two I was talking about that do the main lifting of it as you can see to another side and that one moves fairly quickly and I guess that's probably the one you're going to be using mainly because it does have this large single one here which utilizes you push up or down it kind of lifts the whole crane up so then you can go even higher if you know what I mean pretty cool all the motors seem to run really well, nice and smooth. The rotation is really quick. You know, like any, I guess, RC tank, works really well. Now, if I show the little motors up here, now, it's going to be one here, which is going to be for extending the actual uh, the boom, and then the other one just here. I can get, sorry if I can get to focus, because it is fairly small. There we go. It is for the little winch, as you can see. And that is a steel cable, and it's run between these guides. And in there as well, just a couple of little guides, so it kind of 
tries to run in, run in between to stop binding all that kind of cool stuff. But that is it. Pretty damn cool. Does look the part. Now when you store it, it says, you know, recommend to lower everything and put it behind here. So, you know, you can do whatever you want, really. Now next for this truck, and I saw it's actually available. I'll leave a link for all this stuff if you're interested, guys, uh, to give me the tow hitch so I can use my trailer. This guy down here, ready to tow on that. So that'll be pretty much a whole complete kit. It's got the crane, the tow, tow hitch, and that's uh, also going to be utilizing one of the spare, I think channel 3 I can use, and I can use one of these switches on the controller to uh, lock it and unlock for the trailer mechanism, but pretty cool. Um, if you didn't recall, you don't remember, you just plug this guy into the power on the receiver, which is in this little uh, side container just there. But everything is ready to go. Where the controller is on this side, it's not plugged in at the moment, but that's it, forward and reverse, and this side is for your crane. So pretty cool, that's just something to, to take note of. Pretty damn cool, eh? I think it looks pretty cool. But, any questions, please leave them down below, guys. And, uh, yeah, let me see if I can just lift something pretty quickly. Yeah, I got a little toy and motor here. Let's just uh, winch it up and see how it goes. Pretty damn cool. Seems to lift it, no worries. This guy is pretty heavy, you know. And you can use all the controls at the same time as well, if uh, if that's what you're worried about. You can use everything as it is. Pretty cool. Works pretty good. Pick it up again. Oh, there we go. Good test. Parts picking it up, no worries. You can hear that that clicking is the clutch. If it's too heavy, that clutch will slip on the actual on here as well. But that's it. Let's try that again. You hear the clutch slip, so that's something to pay attention. Alright guys, what do you think of this whole mechanism? Would you use it? Is it just look... Alright guys, what do you think about this crane setup? I think it's pretty cool. I'm not too sure how often I'd use it. It does certainly look really cool. Um, you know, actually doing some real tasks. Lifting some motors here, but uh, it's all fun. Hope you enjoyed it. Links are in the description if you want to go check these out. Um, yeah, that's it. I think it looks pretty cool. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one.